check this out. So this is pretty cool. Steve Zellinardo number one for the month of December. And again, I, I, if you know me, I, I don't really care about this stuff, to be honest. The only, and again, I appreciate my clients for all the business. This is awesome. Like this, we put a, a, a great sum of business together during this month, not, not to mention even my manager giving us a, um, a great playing field where we can work hard and, and make money, not feel guilty about it. We're actually um, you know, pat it on the back for that. So that's a good, great environment to work in naturally. And uh, so this is again, not, not for the production nor the numbers nor the income. This is more for myself personally, because, uh, as I mentioned many times, and I don't want to forget it is in 2017, I had the worst fourth quarter of my career. And December is one of those months where I couldn't put a deal together for the life of me. And it was, if you're a high producing salesperson in any type of, you know, sales industry, and your sales just stop and there's nothing on the board there's nothing nobody's calling and you start doubting yourself naturally and i was in that in that state of mind during that last quarter where yeah you couldn't put anything together nothing was coming out so you had to start from scratch again and, and it's more importantly building your mind back to who you are because then you know the, if you let the self-doubt keep running your mind will keep manifesting this idea and then it'll just tear you to pieces and so let's let's you know going through my mind was can I do this career anymore am I did I lose touch am I still gonna be able to produce I, am I gonna be mediocre and then being an OCD naturally to be mediocre in anything is is like self detonation and uh, you know take the, the cyanide pill and, and die kind of thing so uh, that was running through my mind but again through uh, proper scheduling and mental prep, uh, preparation uh, in the morning especially was a big help with this too and then building that confidence back in who yourself right and then eliminating the negative people around you because there's some people that are going to want to uh, you know trump on, on maybe your despair so eliminate that so look at your surroundings eliminate everybody that doesn't belong there anymore and uh, and start building your mind so I'll give you a little little taste of my schedule in the morning and this has probably been the last five to seven years. Again, it became more aggressive as uh, years progressed, but this is now pretty much steady for the last, let's say four years at, at this level. And so wake up at 5.30 a.m. every morning, I'll do a, a journal. So journal basically things that I'm grateful for, things that I want to accomplish during the day, and uh, and some affirmations. I'll, these are all hand, hand types. So basically it's on my phone. I'll type these all, all out in the morning. Then after that, I'll do a 10 minute meditation then a short prayer after that and then uh, get ready to go to the gym have my audiobook on while i'm driving to the gym have my audiobook on while i'm at the gym so i'm not listening to to any like high energy music or some hip-hop or anything like that it's basically i was listening to tesla's life story last week so it's, it's not as encouraging but it's it's good for your mind naturally right and all these uh, great people that you're listening to so after that sh um, drive home again audiobook go home eat eat a healthy breakfast get ready to get washed up head to the office audiobook still get to the office review my business plan for the year and uh, I'll read out my uh, my 1010 which is called and it's it's 10 things I'm grateful for 10 business goals and, and goals for life for 2019 and then 10 powerful affirmations and after that's done I watched London I watched London Real which is uh, a great gentleman that used to be a banker created this YouTube channel that starts he interviews like the greatest people in the world right all these entrepreneurs uh, health uh, aficionados like just amazing like there's Everyone's kind of amazing and everyone has their own craft and they're amazing at it on there. So it kind of puts us back into reality because, you know, something like this, you know, being number one for one month might go to someone's head and that kind of, uh, just kind of neutralizes that where these guys are just making huge waves in the world and we're just sitting here, you know, doing deals and stuff like that. So it kind of brings you back to reality and, and humility. So that's, I'll do that for half an hour and um, that's pretty much it then i go into my regular schedule prospecting lead follow-up and looking at business and stuff like that so that's that and then i'm reading an amazing book it's benjamin franklin one of the founding fathers of america i think he was the first president i didn't get too far into the book yet i'm at 200 page 200 and um so basically yeah, during the book i'm reading it he's you know he's he's a devout um, I, th I forgot what the uh, the term is. We don't we don't see it anymore. I forgot. Anyways, it's a sort of like a Presbyterian or something of that nature. And um, again, this is written in, in 18th century English, so uh, a lot of the stuff you got to translate. So basically, he what he created his own Ten Commandments, basically, because you know you know church was only giving him so much, and he was seen scandal and stuff like that. So he kind of went into his own zone, and he created the Thirteen Virtues. And I'm gonna read these over the next. Uh, and like the next 13 uh, mornings with Steve, basically. And the first one is called Temperance. And, and these are translatable today, naturally, right? 
and it says eat not to dullness and drink not to elevation. Now think about it, if you break that down, temperance is basically self-restraint and, and abstinence in a sense, right? Abstinence. And uh, so eat not to dullness. And again, this is like food, like, you know, anything. It's over overindulged and you don't appreciate what you're, what you're eating, what you're doing or what you, what you have kind of thing, right? And then drink not to elevation. It's basically... If you drink an amazing bottle of wine, a two hundred dollar bottle of wine, why drink five of them? You know, until you like get sick and and puke it all out the next day. Like this, it's not. It's just overconsumption. It doesn't make sense. And uh, so the lack of appreciation and going into today's society where everything is, I know friends or people that I know, the best clothes, best cars, best houses, best vacation, best everything. And they're not satisfied. They're always searching, always searching, always searching and never sitting, never, you know, taking in. And this is what I'm, I'm and, and you know, I'm trying to practice this and I'm not perfect at it naturally, but I'm, I'm really humble with the stuff like this, with appreciation. And I want to instill this in my kids, uh, you know, in their mindset right now to appreciate everything because I don't need them running around overindulging because it is what it is. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Have an amazing day and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.